the kids on the bus. You assume it's a safe ride to school, but some new numbers show maybe not. We're talking lax maintenance requirements and overworked inspectors. ABC 15's Jason Valentine finding out for us in tonight's investigation, Arizona school bus safety is slipping through the cracks. Arizona statute lets school districts do the bare minimum of bus maintenance under federal law. Some do a bit more, but our expert says none of it's enough, and it's a recipe for something tragic. Scooting off to school. How can any parent know the school bus is safe? DPS inspectors check every one of Arizona's 7,000 buses once a year. Numbers from DPS show in the last two years, nearly 22% had serious violations requiring buses taken out of service for repair. That seems a bit high to me. Robert Berkstresser is a commercial bus consultant, and he says the number of buses violated out of service should be well under 10%. You could be driving a bus for a week or longer jeopardizing the safety of the students you're transporting. Some of the most common problems, bad breaks and broken emergency exits. That's a little alarming. Berkstresser says part of the problem, Arizona doesn't mandate any kind of preventative maintenance schedule for schools. Compare that to California, where districts have to check their buses every 45 days or 3,000 miles, whichever's first greatly reducing violations during official inspections. For example, the Valley's top three violation offenders, Mesa Unified, Roosevelt Elementary, and Scottsdale Unified. Scottsdale told us they look at their buses every six months or 3,500 miles, not that much longer than California standards. But another problem, not all schools stick to their own voluntary maintenance policy according to state audits over the last two years. Of those 23 audits, 12 districts did not systematically perform preventative maintenance. Roosevelt had 210 violations the past two years and, according to the Auditor General, 33 of its 44 buses failed the 2016 DPS inspection. Further, state auditors found the school wasn't following its own preventative maintenance schedule or keeping accurate mileage records. Roosevelt administration didn't respond to requests for comment. Bergstresser says the legislature would do well to step in and step up the bus safety standards. If you uh, tighten up the inspection interval, you would see a dramatic drop in those numbers. Right now, there's no legislative action on the books. And by the way, DPS inspectors, they're stretched thin as well. Only seven looking at buses across all 230 some school districts in Arizona. If you want to understand Arizona's policy better or just see where your school ranks, we have all that information on our website, abc15.com. I'm Jason Valentine, ABC 15, Arizona. And to elaborate on that info at your fingertips, right now on abc15.com, we actually have a searchable database. So you could look up your child's school and bus route to see if they're passing inspections. Attorney